welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event, introducing the newbiest of noobs in the green shorts, the underdog in tonight's foul, official weight coming in at 125 pounds and 3 ounces, Spaghetti Noob! His opponent, 8 years in the making, straight from Brooklyn, the original American legend weighing at 26.2 ounces, Domino's new cheeseburger, Pizza! That will work. Don't subscribe to Spaghetti Noobs. You sure you Hey guys, Spaghetti Noob here. Today we are going to review the Domino's cheeseburger pizza. Before we get into that, please make sure you destroy that like button. Just like I want to destroy this pizza. Same time, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Alright, with that being said, let's get on to the video. So, Domino's came out with a brand new cheeseburger pizza. It's one of their legend pizzas. And I think it was like eight years since the last time they had a legend pizza. I do remember them having a cheeseburger pizza a long time ago, but it, they created these new pizzas based off of customers. So I haven't looked at the pizza yet. I just picked it up. It's still hot. As you can see here, it's Brooklyn cheeseburger large. So we are going to try it, review it. As you guys know from my other videos, I love cheeseburgers. Everything, like any, and nothing really else compares. Maybe spaghetti. Okay, probably spaghetti. Yeah, you know. But let's take a look at it. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna die. Look at that. Wah! Can't lose it. Alright, so we'll just put this here and we're just we're just gonna eat. It smells amazing. It smelled and it smelled intoxicating in the car. Let's just try this. So it comes with uh, I don't remember what it comes with actually. I can't even recall. Uh, onion. I don't know. Onions, tomatoes. I think onions, tomatoes, beef, American cheese, ketchup, mustard sauce. I'm not sure how I feel about that until I try it. I guess. Man, this is amazing. Another Nobelore! What better way to review pizza by eating it all? Or at least that's the whole. Wow. First bite, so amazing, so cheesy. Definitely onions. I'm gonna eat these later. First slice, right off the bat. Super flavorful, super amazing. It it does taste like a cheeseburger. It it is really good. I think the only thing it's missing is some pickles, which is weird, but since there's no like actual pizza sauce, this would be great with some pickles. Even jalapenos. When I go to burger place, what I normally get, sauteed onions, sauteed jalapenos, and pickles. And cheese, of course, and that's it. I don't like usually anything else, but this is really good, really amazing. I think one one special little touch they could have done is to get some uh, sesame seed on the crust. Maybe the next version. Wow. Almost with the ketchup mustard mix. And I don't really like mustard, but you can barely taste it. And I almost kind of like it in here, which is really weird because I hate mustard. Wow, this is amazing. It might just be better than the Philly. Those are, those are fighting words. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, what if we put Philly on this? Wow, this is amazing. I don't understand people don't like Domino's. If you had Domino's in a long time, give it a shot. That's really good. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not big enough to get sponsored. <laughs> uh, that's always great. Crap, I can't tell. Which one is, is this one slice? Yeah. It reminds me of... When I was a kid, 
my mom would make us, uh, we'd eat cheese and tomatoes for breakfast. And my mom would make us this, aside from just eating them in like bread, and like sandwiches, we'd, she'd make some dip. And it was just like a whole bunch of cheese and tomatoes, and sometimes we'd have onions, jalapenos in it, make a little cheese dip. And this is what this reminds me of, with a little tomato. I just got a great idea. You'll have to, you'll have to wait and see for a potential future video. <clears throat> this is either the stupidest thing I've done, or the smartest thing I've done. I'm not sure which. That American cheese, so good. I almost don't want to eat this like regular Brooklyn style. I just, I just don't want to fold it. I just want to eat it like upside down. So that way, all the flavors just go on my tongue. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Mm-hmm. That's the way to do it, guys. Eat it upside down. If you don't like Domino's and you haven't tried this pizza yet, I bet you if you try this, you will start liking Domino's and you'll start trying their other things. The Philly is probably one of the best pizzas ever. Also, the six cheese. You know what this would be amazing in? Hand tossed. Not hand tossed. Pan. Pan was medium, so I don't want to get a medium. There is no special crust on this. The regular, excuse me, whatever they normally put on the crust. You know, their cheese sauce kind of tastes like Burger King Stacker sauce. Probably why I like it so much, because Stacker was amazing. Definitely needs pickles. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat this, but probably not with a crust. So to save this last slice here, while this is purchased at a pizza shop, this is not necessarily considered a pizza. The reason I say that is because there is no marinara sauce, or there's no Alfredo sauce either. So I don't, Technically consider this a pizza, kind of like the Philly. The Philly is great, but it's not a pizza. It's in pizza form, but it's not a pizza, and it's amazing. I, I love it. Same with like barbecue chicken. I don't consider that pizza. Like if I wanted barbecue, I think barbecue chicken pizza or barbecue chicken in pizza form is probably better than most barbecue places in my area. Granted, we don't have a lot of barbecue joints because we're not really, you know, in the south or in our area, there are not a lot of good ones. So if I want good barbecue, barbecue chicken pizza is amazing. But it's not really pizza because the sauce is barbecue sauce and you just have, you know, your regular amenities on there. But this cheeseburger in pizza form is amazing. And it, this is really fueling, really fueling my another idea that I have that I just think is gonna be so awesome. Very flavorful right away, very cheesy. And I love the tomato, the tomato gives it a nice like pop of flavor. I don't really like, I don't typically like vegetables on my pizza typically, aside from like the Philly, cause again, it's not a pizza, it's in pizza form. Um, or any of their other legends are, are pretty good, but typically it's just meat. Occasionally, you know, some hot peppers like jalapenos or banana peppers, but the onions, the tomato, the cheese, it just works really well with their special sauce. <laughs> no copyright infringement there. I don't even mean it that way, but it just works really well with uh, Domino's sauce. And just, just really good. Real juicy, real flavorful. Very good. Like any of the regular, regular traditional pizzas, it could use more meat as always, right? I used to do extra, but I want to try it stock, see how it is. I'd probably add um, double the beef, um, potentially bacon, but what I really want to try is put some Philly on this and see how, how it will look. Philly and some green peppers. Oh man, I just transformed the Philly into something else and, and see see how that's going to be. I had a an old boss who loves bacon, but not on pizza. He said, bacon on pizza Bacon is too overwhelming, you can't taste anything else on the pizza. Now I disagree with that, but adding bacon on this will probably make this really good. And at the same time, that's how I feel about black olives on pizza. I believe black olives on pizza, they're just too overpowered. I'd, I'd eat black olives like either straight from the can or the jar, um, or the little like, plastic containers you get them in, but I don't want them on pizza. All right, so as for our review, Domino's brand new cheeseburger pizza. They also got another new one, the chicken taco pizza. We're gonna to have to try that next and see how it goes. Maybe we'll try a different crust. Thick crust is my favorite. 
Here's the last slice. We're gonna get her away. I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat these crusts. I was initially planning on it, but I don't know. Eating a whole pizza is uh, probably not the best idea in the world, but we'll see. This one is not as hot being cold as I talk about, but it's pretty good. There you guys go. Trying out the new Domino's cheeseburger pizza. Large Brooklyn. So we got crust left. This is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done, or one of the best things I've ever done. It was delicious. It was just very good. You should, I definitely encourage you to try it out. That's all I got for you for now. If you guys like this type of content, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Hit subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps me out. Check out my other videos. I got a whole bunch of other different types of videos. I typically mode of vlog as well. Check out the description for links. There's some stuff there that you can help out the channel if you'd like. I'd greatly appreciate it if you check out those links. So with that being said, that's all I got for you. Thanks for now. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and have a good day. Donkey Kong ain't got nothing on me. Oh, I think that's not Ancy? No. Oh. Ancy. <laughs>